Hi, this is Mike at Canadian Spa. We're in the back of the warehouse today. We're going to talk about getting an airlock in your pump. Normally, this is caused when you're filling your hot tub. Because you always want to fill it through your filter housing. That way, it helps push out the air while the water rises and the air will release through the top jets. It'll cut down the chances of it. Nothing will ever be 100% on trying to get an air bubble from the start. Now, a first option is... Your, could be your filter, could be clogged, and it's just not sucking through. So a good option is try starting it without the filter inside of it. Normally, it's going to be the pump. The initial startup of a pump is enough force to get most of the air out. Sometimes you will get a bubble trap. Sometimes it's a low-lying line or a lot of different other aspects. When you are undoing the pump for the air bubble. So you'll dictate on which one it is, depending if you have one, two, three, or four pumps on which one is not giving you the pressure outside of the jets. So pump one being here, and that's always the one coming off your heater barrel. You always want to leave the motor running on high speed when you do this, and it'll be humming. But you're going to take the wet end of the pump, and the best tool you can have, it's just a C-clamp oil wrench, Canadian Tire, or Home Depot, everybody's got these. They're anywhere 15, 20 ish bucks. But this is the best tool you can possibly own for your hot tub because it works on all the unions. So the motor's going to be running high speed. All you're going to do is loosen off this union just till you see a little bit of water trickle out through the bottom here. You're not going to want to take it right off, just enough that the water is coming out through the bottom. As soon as you see a little bit of water counting out of the bottom, count to five or ten and then tighten this back up the, when you tighten this back up you will hear a rush of water going back and that air will be gone sometimes it'll take a couple of times to do this the only thing you want to make sure is you do not loosen this one if you loosen this one with water inside of it it's going to leak water over the ac part of your motor which will cause some problems in the future so anytime you are going to bleed your pump, you can either use little bleed valves that are directly underneath of it or the wet end. There's just that little crank, little trickle of water out the bottom, count to five, then tighten it again. And then just make sure that it's nice and tight by using the oil wrench again.